Good morning students. Welcome to the series of experiments in physics presented by Mobile Science Lab. Today we are going to study the reflection phenomena in the case of curved surfaces. There are two types of curved surfaces. To begin with, I am showing you a model. This is a sphere. This is a sphere. When I cut the sphere into two parts, you get this type of surface. When I cut the sphere into two parts, this is the half of the sphere portion is this. When the reflecting surface on this particular curvature, this particular surface is called concave surface. Do you see the difference? Till now, we are using only plane mirrors. Here, we are using the curved surfaces. Okay, this is the concave surface. Now, when I turn it around and then see, this surface happened to be bulged out portion of the sphere. This is the convex surface. Today, we are going to study the light reflection phenomena in the case of concave mirrors. Whenever we are studying about the curved surfaces, there are a few words which we normally come across. The first and foremost thing is the focus. You know, the moment somebody says focus, it is the point where your concentration is going to be. In the case of this concave surface, the point focus can be defined as the point where the parallel beam of rays coming from infinite distance, traveling parallel to the principal axis, and they meet at a point after the reflection on the concave surface. To be short, parallel beam of rays coming and traveling parallel to the principal axis, they meet at a point after reflection on the concave mirror. That particular point is called focus or focal point. Now, you know when this particular surface is taken, you can find out the midpoint of this. This midpoint, of, midpoint is known as the pole of the mirror. The distance, the straight line joining the pole of the mirror and the point focus is the focal length of the concave mirror when the object is at infinite distance. Irrespective of the object position, the focal length of the lens remains same. That means focal length is constant. It does not vary either with the position of the object or the size of the image or image position. Okay. Now, how do we begin with? The aim of the experiment is to find out the focal length of the concave mirror when the object is at infinite distance. That is, that is the object which is at infinite distance when compared to the focal length of the mirror I am using. This is the concave mirror whose focal length I am trying to find. This is the screen on which I am trying to focus my image. Now, one more important thing is students, you all know till now whatever image we have seen that is erect and in the case of plane mirrors, object distance in front of the mirror is equal to the image distance behind the mirror. Now, we have to get a different type of image. In short, whenever you can obtain an image on the screen, it is a real image. That means images are also of two kinds, real image and virtual image. In the case of plane mirror, we have seen the virtual image. Now, totally we will get a different image, that is real image. How do you distinguish? Whenever you can see the image on the screen, whenever the image can be focused on the screen, it is a real image. 
Shall we start the experiment? Switch on the battery light. I have kept the Tanke mirror. Position of the mirror is at 5 centimeter mark. By adjusting this, we should get a clear image of the object. The mirror is placed at 5 centimeter mark. All of you please observe. Now, when I move it, the image is not clear. As I keep on moving from point to point, I would arrive at a particular point where you can see a tiny spot on the screen. Now, the image of the object is captured on the screen. Whenever the image is captured on the screen, it is a real image. It is a, by default, whenever you see something on the screen, image rather, it is a real image. Now, the position of the image is at 15 centimeter mark. What is focal length? Focal length is nothing but the distance between the pole of the mirror to the point where the image is formed because object is at infinity. Now, the, the difference between the two points is 10 centimeters. That means focal length of the given concave mirror is 10 centimeters. Is it clear? Is it understood? Now, what we do is because the object is at infinity, I cannot change the object distance. I would fiddle with the mirror and then try to find out whether I would get the position of the image at the same point or not. Should we do it? Yes. What I am trying to do is, I am trying to change the position of the mirror from 5 to 10 centimeter mark. That means, I have moved my mirror through a distance of 5 centimeters. Is it so? Is it right or wrong? No. Again, the, the procedure remains the same. I have to move the screen to get a clear image. What are you seeing in the, on the screen? Blurred image of the object. When I keep on moving, see now how beautifully it is turning out to be a point. Now, you can see clearly the bright spot here on the screen. This is the position of the image. Whenever the object is at infinite distance, the parallel beam of rays traveling parallel to the principal axis will meet at a point after reflection and that particular point is point focus and the size of the image is almost a point size. That is what you are observing here and now the distance between the pole of the mirror position of the, the image is formed. Let us try to find out what is the position of the image. The position of the image is a 20 centimeter mark. Now you see, earlier when I kept the mirror at 5 centimeter mark, I have obtained my image. Rather, the image is obtained at 15 centimeter mark and the focal length has turned out to be 10 centimeter. Later on, I shifted the mirror from 5 to 10 centimeter mark, then the image is formed at 20 centimeters indicating that the focal length is 10 centimeters. That means, though I have changed the position of the mirror, the focal length is the same. Is it uh, right? Now, this experiment can be performed for various positions of the mirror and the corresponding image positions can be noted and it is displayed on the screen. The focal length of the mirror is 10 centimeters irrespective of the position of the mirror. This demonstrates that focal length is a constant factor which is connected with the design of the mirror. Is it understood? So, thank you very much.